Alfred Tony, the rubber the dogs and never get emotion. Mama Kombe Reggae Do Shila Baba Bakanta Lina Namakaya Lima Tongze Reggae Do Shila Baba Bakanta Kaya Mente Lene Monzu Belege Gelene Namon Sakabaya Membra Dunze Lina Makon Jalea Ito Bereke Tina Makon Te Lina Makaya Ezi Balunde Shina Nanamai In Jesus Name We Are Praying in Jesus' name we are praying. I won't go back, can go back to the way it used to be. For your presence came and changed me. I won't go back, I won't go back, can go back to the way it used to be. For your presence came and changed me. I won't go back, can go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back, I won't go back, can go back to the way it used to be. For your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. Can you pray again and say, Holy Ghost, speak to me this evening? Lord, speak to me today. 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 In the name of Jesus. Mamba Rusketele, Nema Conta Lina Maka, Esha Katemba Lululu Babaranka Toske, Lima Conta Lina Naka, Meshi Katon Belegeno, Sikata Pala Naka, Meshi Ketele Nemosu Telina Namaka. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So today, all right, last week we speak on, we spoke on understanding the supernatural. Amen. There's no time. We are very short time to be out of here. All right, so please, if you have a smartphone, go to Uniquely Family Channel on Telegram. There's a message I preach on the supernatural. There are some things I didn't even say last week. All right, like the seven dimension. The seven things you will see in the seven dimension and you know what you will experience a lot of things are said okay but let me say something i didn't say last week okay there was something i was trying to work on and the only person said to me he said the measurement of your work in the supernatural all right is that you know you are able to live the kind of life that jesus lived are we together and if your situations and circumstances don't align with the word of god get angry and react i say it again your measurement of work in the supernatural is the degree to which your life is in alignment with the christ life so if you can't imagine jesus all right on a trip when sickness comes to you get angry and react are we together the Bible said you will be the head and not the tail. So refuse average living and average performance. Are we together? You know, last week I said to you, I said, one thing you see with Jesus is whenever he sees sickness, he doesn't sympathize. What does he do? He heals it. And I remember on Tuesday, somebody called me. The person said she wasn't feeling fine. I said, okay, have you taken drugs? Okay, the Lord's written you, blah, blah. And I remember what I preach. Because whenever I preach and whenever we are praying, I don't just preach as if I'm preaching to people. I preach to myself too and I receive the prayer too. And I remember, I said, okay, can I pray for you? And then that was how I prayed. When I prayed, that was how before evening, she was well and whole again. Are we together? So the things you are learning, the things you are learning is not just for learning sake. It's for you to practice like Pastor Abraham told us last week. Amen? And then I don't know about you, but as for me, this week that passed, I had two financial testimonies. Amen. By God, most enjoyed me this this week. I was telling uh, this guy when I was uh, coming. All right. 
when the bad man fell on the ground, when I shouted Jesus, I was standing on the road. Are we together? And then a bag too was coming, but thank God it wasn't speeding, so it stopped. So that be something else. Are we together? And I pray for you that you will keep experiencing the supernatural every day of your life. In Jesus' name. Alright, so maybe after by 3 30 we should be out of here so maybe after everything so we don't rush ourselves we'll just miss outside we'll talk some family things and then that'll be all amen so quickly let's let's rush to the book of matthew chapter 5 and verse 8 and please any scripture i mention make sure you write it down and when you get home please read it all right make sure you read it and i encourage you try to see to be that you have something you're writing whenever you're in church not only here all right because sometimes you hear, you may forget. But if it's documented, you can go back and make reference to it. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8. Is anybody there? You can read for me quickly. Matthew 5, 8. I can quote it of heart, but I want somebody to read. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay, let me just read. Matthew 5, 8. The Bible said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Can we say it together? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Okay? You see, everything I've been preaching for the past, you know, few weeks, like I told you, it's not just teaching and preaching, it's training. Are we together? It's training. So if you want to walk in the supernatural, one other key again is one thing I'm trying to show you today. Purity. Alright? Say with me, the dynamics of purity. I can't hear you. Let me feel your life beautiful all right when we say dynamics it means how something works okay the process how something works amen i say amen you see we are people of grace is somebody with me somebody with me we are people of grace what that means is because we are people of grace or you see some people have abused the subject of grace are we together some people believe because they are in Greece, they can live anyhow and then things will be fine. No, things will not be fine. Are we, are we together? Are we together? You see, the Bible said in Titus 2.11 that the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. Titus 2.11. Alright? But many just stop there and that's all. But they have forgotten to advance to verse 12 that says it teaches us to say no. You know, to, to, to ungodly lifestyle and every worldly passion. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? So you see, some people don't know that grace is even higher than the law. The standard is even higher. Are we, are we together? Because you see, under the law, they said, thou shalt not kill. But under grace, grace is, if you hurt your brother, you are a murderer. Which one is higher? Amen. The law says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's when you commit the act. All right. But grace now said, If you look at a woman lustfully, you have committed adultery. Which one is now higher? Amen. So, what that means is, grace is there not to condemn you when you make a mistake. Are we together? But grace is there to give you the capacity that you yourself cannot help yourself. Did you hear that English? Did you hear that English? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So you see, the reason why I'm actually talking like this because it's not only us. There are people that will hear the message later. Okay. So you see, there are people that don't know that righteousness is of two kinds. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? There is what is called imputed righteousness. Are we together? I want to be sure we are here what imputed righteousness and what that means is romans 5 17 the bible speaking said that by one man of us death came to all by one man disobedience romans 5 17 by one man obedience disobedience dead reign but the bible said so also by the obedience of one man as many that receive the gifts of grace and the abundance of righteousness shall reign in life by Christ Jesus. So, there is a bitter grace. What that means is, it's not what you did or what you didn't do, but because of what Christ did, his obedience is now accredited to you as his righteousness. Are we, are we together? Are we together? And then, secondly, 
that is what is called practical righteousness. Amen. Practical righteousness. First John 3:7. The Bible speaking said that whosoever that is born of God doeth righteousness. And then the Bible said, practice righteousness. Are we together? Are we are we together? Are we here? Are we here? Alright? So there is practical righteousness. What that means is the literal word of it. Because righteousness means it means being just. It means to be upright. Alright? It means to live in integrity. Are we are we together? Are we together? That is practical righteousness. Amen. And then why we are people of grace is because you should not be judgmental and you should not be critical. Are we are we together? Are we together? There are people that you know if you see you, maybe you just vibe your hair, one particular hairstyle. Maybe you did those days they do punk. They will come and rebuke you. <laughs> Brother, this is six six six. You are going to hell. Are we together? Or maybe you wear it particular, maybe jean trouser. They will ask you to go and burn it and all that. I'm not against people that do that. Are we together? Or maybe they see you, you know, wearing jewelry and all that. They say, ah, no, no, it's a sin, no, gold is a sin, blah, blah. Are we together? I'm not against them. But you know one funny thing? There are people that don't wear, you know, gold, you know, head always covered and everything. But those people, if you see the way they keep malice, if you offend them before they forgive you, are we together? So be gracious, be gracious. Are we together? Be gracious. Amen. Amen. If you read the book of Malachi, chapter 3, from verse 1 to 4, you know, I told you when you get home, make sure you read it. Malachi, chapter 3, from verse 1 to 4. Malachi 3, 1 to 4. The Bible speaking said that the great day of the Lord is coming. And the Bible speaking said that if he comes, who will endure the great day of the Lord? The Bible said, he's coming like a refiner's fire. And he's coming with the fuller soap. So that he will purify the sons of Levi. So they will offer unto God an offering in righteousness. Are we, are we together? Are we together? He will purify them with the refiner's fire like silver and, and with the fuller soap. So they will offer unto God an offering in righteousness. Is somebody, is somebody here with me? Is somebody here with me? You see, one of the ideas, all right, behind unique faith family, okay, apart from the other visions and the missions God has given to us, all right, one of the ideas is when they say something is unique breed, eh, what that means is you're not like any other person. You are unique in your own way, all right? They say this is what is raining. You don't go with it because you are not everybody, you are somebody. Are we, are we together? And when they say unique breed, unique breed gives you the idea of an incorruptible seed. Are you with me? Are you with me? An incorruptible seed. And you know, I keep telling you, anytime I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to you because I see you as potential pastors. Are we together? Even if you don't end up holding the mic, wherever you are, that is your pulpit and your ministry. Are we together? Are we together? God wants you to be a unique breed. That is why he's bringing what he's bringing to us. Let me give an example. They say, pastor, I know. We say, pastor, <laughs> if this guy starts preaching, you can't just sit down. Are we together? You know, and, and I preach like that too, but I don't, it's not all about making you feel like when I'm preaching, all right? I like taking my time to teach, so you understand it like A, B, C, D. Hey, A, B, if these guys start preaching, you will sit down. You will sit down. You can't sit down. All right? You know, very sweet preaching. But you know one funny thing? When this guy finished preaching, I'm not telling you stories. It's somebody I know. When this guy finished preaching, and they give you honorarium, he would use that money to go and buy cooking. Yes. Are we together? Are we together? And a lot of things are happening in these our days. So God wants you to be a unique breed. When I was still in law school, you know, there was my keyboardist, not you, you are different. All right. When I was in law school, I was the president, the chapel president. So uh, service was going on. And then we we're waiting for the keyboardist. The keyboardist didn't come. So we said, ah, what, what's happening, you know, and all that. So somebody said, ah, let me not call his name. He said, the person is sick. He's sick. All right. So out of concern, okay, me and the, you know, the chaplain, all right, we went to actually greet a brother because he was sick. Are we together? So lo and behold, when we got to, when we got to, you know, the room, actually we knock, knock, ah. So we thought, you know, nobody was responding. So we now opened the door and we, we moved them quickly. 
All right. So when we moved in, all right, lo and behold, it was Adam and Eve on the bed. Are we together? And then he was feeling ashamed. He said, ah, sorry. So, you know, oh, sorry, how are you feeling? So the chaplain didn't even say much. And then he now left. So while we're working out, the chaplain now said, ah, this one will be normal sickness. So now different sickness are back. So, so, and then that was how she left the fellowship. We didn't condemn him. All right, and then he now left. He was saying a lot of things about us. But he knew he, he, knew he was guilty now. Are we together? And I'm telling you, there are people living like that. Come and stand and say, praise the Lord. Some are just coming from one hotel room somewhere. And then they come and stand on the pulpit and then they are singing or they are preaching. I fear God. Though. Somebody say, I fear God. Say, I fear God. Are we together? And then, as a minister, all right, the test of money will even come. Are we together? There was a place I went to some years ago. All right, and then, you know, God blessed me with this gift of prophecy like, like crazy. So the man of God invited me. So when he invited me, now I came. And then I was giving prophecy, you know, blah, 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 blah. So what, what I was prophesying? Because I'm so in love with God that money is the last thing I didn't look at. Like today, I was taking to the school. I forgot to take offering. And it was intentional. I, normally, they take offering. The teaching was just sweeting me. I even forgot. Time even left. Ah, when the guy was carrying, carrying the empty basket, I said, oh, sorry, let me drop off the number of the people. <laughs> Are we together? So while I was prophesying, you know, you know, talking to them one after the other. He said, man of God, it's not done like that too. You know, whenever they come with their case, it depends on the level of the case. If the case is a very big case, this one maybe you charge them 5,000. You charge this one 10,000, you say this one blah, blah, blah. I say, man of God, sorry, I didn't know that that was your star. And of course, you know me, that will be the last time he will ever see me there. Are we together? Are we together? Learn to stand on the truth. Amen? My spiritual father, there was a woman that came to see him. So when she came to see him, you know, she said, I want you to hear what God is saying. And then, when he was about talking to her, he wanted just telling her what people used to say, blah, blah, because she was vying for a political position or so. So when she was trying to get to the office, all right, God told him, tell her she will not win. But he didn't know how he would tell her. She's a big woman, blah, 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 blah. And then he got her courage. And then he told her, he said, woman, I see you not winning this thing. He was thinking she'd be angry. She left. When, when, when she left, he thought she left, you know, angrily. When she came back, she came back with Ghana Must Go. Inside the Ghana Must Go was 25 million naira. He said, man of God, thank you for telling me the truth. You are the only person that have told me the truth. Everybody was telling me I will win, I will win. So far, I have spent 3 billion naira. But even me, I don't have peace. I know I will not win. And that was how the, the money was used for Kingdom Advance. Hallelujah. Papa Adeboye one day was in his hotel room. They now planned it. Planned everything. You know, this man is popular, so this is what you will do. You know, carry one prostitute, come to his hotel room, and then what you will do is just knock on the door. Once you knock on the door, one, once he comes, just hug him, and then like this person is snapping now, we will just snap. Say, ah, Papa Deboy, you know, is a, is a flat. <laughs> Concrete evidence, you can't deny. All right? But God in his wisdom, lo and behold, he, he, he was even with his wife. So when they knocked the door, the Holy Ghost said, don't go, send your wife to go and answer the door. So when the wife went to answer the door, when she opened, the lady hugged her. Ah, the wrong person. Amen? I see God helping you in Jesus' name. I see, I see God helping you in Jesus' name. You see, child of God, for God to go far with you, all right, for God to go far with you and for God to do much with you, your life and your doings needs to look like the atmosphere of heaven. I say it again for God to go far with you and for God to do much with you, your life and your doings have to look like the atmosphere of heaven. Are we, are we together? Are we together? What that means is, you see, the atmosphere of heaven, all right, is full of glory and holiness. Are we together? It's full of what? Full of glory and holiness. So, if you want to be a vessel unto honor, according to 2 Timothy 2, 20, 21, and 22, if you want to be a vessel unto honor, the Spirit of God, for the Spirit of God to rest on you and do much with you, He has to find holiness. Are we together? Are we together? Let me give an example. Do you know the reason why Abraham 
H was added to his name. He was Abraham. Okay, your name is Abraham. A B R A M. Abraham. All right. Then God now added H to his name. He now became what? He now became what? Abraham. Are we together? That that H he added was holiness. Because his life was not holy, you know. He had to, you know, uh, you know, temporarily sleep with Hagar and he gave her to Ishmael that today is causing us trouble. So he had to add hate to his name, meaning holiness. Are we, are we together? Are we together? Is somebody still here? And then if you check Sarai, all right? Before she was Sarai with I, with I, she was very impatient, very indisciplined. Say, ah, why are you wasting time? God promised for years, it's not coming, you know? Let this our servant just be the one that will bear the promise. But God said no. So God now removed that eye, that indiscipline, that impatience. And then he now will replace it with the H, Sarah. Holiness also. Somebody blessed. Is somebody blessed? Is somebody blessed? Hallelujah. And then those of you that were following on social media, I posted something. I said, power is preserved by purity. Are we together? Power is preserved by purity. Power is preserved by purity. Power is preserved by purity. All right? God is using you. If you want to continue to walk in power, you have to take purity very serious. Are we together? I don't know whether I gave you this uh, story before. I should have. I should have. Okay? Papa A. Allen. All right? You remember last time I was talking about the supernatural that I told you? That was a man. All right? that somebody came, the person was without a leg. There was no leg. He told the person, he said, go and buy, he said, go and buy, go and buy your shoe size. When he bought the shoe size, when he came, when Papa Allen prayed, a new leg came out. Leg like this came out. Are we together? But what ended the power dimension? There was a time he took sick. When he took sick, you know, the doctor said, okay, because of the sickness, you need to take small alcohol for the health of your sick. Okay? So he took little. From little, it became major. From major, it became his life. That you cannot do without alcohol again. And that was how. There was a book you sent to me, Sexual Purity. Please, if you can access the book, you know, meet it for me, we'll send it to you. There was something uh, they said there that I love. They said, whenever you keep ignoring God's instruction and God's warning, a time will come that your heart will become numb towards God. What that means is you will not feel anything again. Your heart is already strong. You won't feel anything again. Are we together? And then you see, prosperity is undergirded by wholeness. What that means is, anything that is working in your life, for that thing to continue, it will be sustained by holiness. Are we? Are we together? Are we together? All right. So, first thing, note: for God to go far with you and to do much with you, you need to have the atmosphere of heaven, which is holiness. Then, number two, you have to understand that sin is a sinker of destiny. Are we? Are we together? Are we together? Sin is a sinker of destiny. 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 Hmm. You see, apart from God saying, you know, stay pure, is it for your own good? Are we, are we together? Is it for your own good? There's a man they call him Tiger Woods. He plays, uh, I think, is it hockey or golf? Golf, I mean? Uh-huh, golf. He plays golf. All right, he's a celebrity. He was making, you know, dollars, but just sexual scandal alone took that guy down again. Are we together? People like Boris Johnson in London, the same thing. He is not more the prime minister in London now because of scandal, sexual scandal, having issues and all that, everything. Are we together? You know, for example, eh? even the alcohol self. Are we together? Apart from God saying it, medical is not good for you. Do you know why? Because it causes what medical doctors call liver cirrhosis. This morning, the medical doctor was saying, you remember? He said, whenever you, you know, keep on smoking and then you keep on with alcohol, there, there is a possibility of causing you high blood pressure. Because when you do that, your arteries and your heart is under pressure. Your heart pumps abnormally. Are we together? Are we together? And for example, when God says, flee all, all youthful loss, it's for your own good. Because if you don't, before you know, you can get somebody pregnant. Are we together? And then there are STDs. And in this generation, they say they are smart. You know, they can use protection and all that. But you see, STDs are in two ways. There is sexually transmitted disease. And there are sexually transmitted demons. 
Is somebody still with me? Is somebody still with me? Is somebody still with me? All right. The Bible said, He that is joined with the prostitute has become one with her. So what that means is the spirit, the, the person is carrying, whether it's 100 or 300 spirits will transfer to you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. And you see, apart from that, if you are dubious in life, you will not be glorious. The Bible said, whatever a man sows, that it shall be. You know, there are people living though they are in church. They can reap you, they can dupe you. And they will even give you scriptures as to why it is correct. Are we together? Always be known for integrity. Be known for what is right. Amen. Then, 1 Timothy 4.12. Alright? 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 12. The Bible said, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in purity, in love, in patience. So another reason why God wants you to walk in purity is because he wants you to be a pace sitter. Are we together? Are we together? He wants you to be what? To be a pest sitter. What that means is he wants you to be a role model. Because you see, a leader's life is a living life. Is it not so? Is it not so? A leader's life is what? Is a living life. You know, if you remember those of you that watch Pastor Chris, you see his pastors trying to make their hair like his own. Is it not so? Those of you that watch Kumoyi, you see their pastors trying to preach to like Kumoyi. Somebody praise the Lord. <laughs> Are we together? And those of us are trying to preach like a devil. All right? Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen? Because a leader's life is a living life. Oh, Jesus. I wish we have more time. But don't worry. We'll try. We'll continue next week. Okay? Mahatma, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. How many of you know Mahatma Gandhi? He's an Indian. An Indian man. All right? He, he, he speaks, you know, wise sayings, motivational speakings, and, you know, he's very influential. People hear him whenever, you know, he speaks, they listen. And then one time, a woman carried her son to Mahatma Gandhi. And they said, Mahatma Gandhi, you are influential. People hear you in this nation. Please, can you tell my son to stop eating sugar? And he said to the woman, he said, okay, just go and come back in two weeks. So when they went and they came back in two weeks, Mahatma Gandhi told his son, he said, stop eating sugar. He said, yeah, is that all? I said, yes, that's all. Are you sure that's all? Yeah, just go. And when they went, the boy stopped eating sugar. <laughs> and then she now asked him, ah, wh why did you say we should go and come back in two weeks? He said, because when you came, myself, I was battling with eating too much sugar. So I needed to work on myself and be sure I can handle the sugar before telling him. Because when I speak, it carries the power. Are we together? Are we together? So, child of God, what you are doing is making people not to hear what you are saying. Are we together? What you are doing is making people not to hear what you are saying. Amen? And you see, that's why it's good for you to actually be known and for you to work for, you know, for Jesus. I remember that, uh, in my secondary school, that was in my junior class there about, you know, I, I used to dance those days, you know, I love dancing, you know, break dance, step dance and everything. So, in uh, during the uh, social night, you know, we'll be the ones that will go and dance and all that, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, we dance during social night, I think that was on Friday night, and then on Sunday, we talk about evangelism. So, <laughs> but that's me, no matter how, I will love God, okay? So we went to the evangelism. So we went, we went to the evangelism and we were preaching. And then ah, somebody now saw me. Even I was wearing, we used to call it winter hat then, head warmer. I was closing my face, but still, somebody was able to recognize me. Say, ah, nobody even the dance for social night on Friday. <laughs> Are we together? And that was how actually I had to stop dancing then in school. Yes. You know, during there's what we call lit day. All right? They carried me on, on one senior carried me on his neck. I must go and dance. And I said, I will not dance. Are we together? Paul said, if eating meat will cause my brother to stumble, then it's better I stop eating meat. Hallelujah. The time is up. We have uh, very few minutes. Okay? But let me try and rush quickly. Let me try and rush quickly. Let me try and rush quickly. Okay? 
maybe in two minutes I will try. Then you see, another thing about purity is that purity, purity takes you to what is called speed zone. Somebody say speed zone. Let me look for the scripture and give you. I don't want to miss it. Please write it down. When you go home, read it. When you go home, read it. I want to give you the scripture. Romans 9.28. Write down Romans 9.28. Alright. Write down one down. Then write Job 31 and verse 1. Okay. Job 31 and verse 1. And then 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 23. Romans 9.28. Job 31 verse 1. 1 Thessalonians 5.23. Alright quickly. Let me try and say this. Alright. You see purity takes you to the speed zone. The Bible says in that Romans 9.23, all right? The Bible says, it says, I will do a quick walk in righteousness. Are we together? I will do what? A quick walk in righteousness. So what that means is when you walk in purity, whatever you are desiring comes very fast. Let me give you a good, good example. For example, there are ladies in church. They are praying, oh God, every power of the Leo holding my husband. Die, die by thunder. By, die by kerosene. Whichever prayer they are praying and all that. Are we together? They are praying for a husband, but if you see the chain of boyfriends waiting. Abba, 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 Abba. Are we together? So because they are not empty, all right? Because they are not empty, where will the man come and stay again? A good example. You know, there are, there are courtists, all right? Maybe a four years course. You see them spending 10 years, some 15 years. Are we together? Okay, let's stop it. Quickly. Let me show you, let me tell you just two things. Because I don't know if I will see like this, my brother is going back to just now. So let me just quickly tell you something. All right, you see? For you to live pure in an impure world. Okay, for like two, three weeks, we should be looking at that. For you to live pure in an impure world. All right? Number one, make up your mind. You will see through the eyes of Christ. Somebody say, I will see. Say, I will see. Through the eyes of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You see, that Job 31 verse 1. Job said, I have made a covenant with my eye not to look at a mate, at a woman lustfully. Are we, are we together? Are we together? You see, the channel sin comes to you is through your eyes, what you hear. Are we together? But majorly through your eyes. Are we, are we together? So you see, Whenever you see something, all right, if I see Sister Gibbs now, I won't just say, ah, you know, this person is Gibbs. Sorry, please, just two minutes. We'll soon be out. Just two minutes, okay? So when I see Sister Gibbs, you know, I'm looking at her. I say, ah, look at Sister Gibbs. Ah, she's well and out. How will I see? I will see the beauty of Christ in her. Are we, are we together? Are we together? And then apart from what I see, there's also another eyes, which is your mind. Are we together? Then quickly, now 1 Thessalonians 5.23, the Bible said that the God of peace sanctify your spirit, your soul, and your body, and keep you blameless until the day of Christ. Are we, are we together? Are we together? Your spirit, your soul, and your body, and keep you blameless until the day of Christ. Is somebody here? Is somebody here? So quickly, you see. You know, when I was talking about the prophetic, how to see in the spirit, you remember me talking about the spirit, the soul, and the body. This is the concept. You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. Are we together? If it's not clear, I'll explain to you when we, when we go outside in a few minutes. All right? You have what? You have a soul, you are a spirit, and you live in a body. The, 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 the spirit is superior to the soul, and the soul is superior to the body. Are we together? The body is a slave to the soul, and the soul is a slave to the spirit. Are we? Are we together? Are we together? So, <laughs> if if you want your body to behave, give to the spirit. For example, if what is in my spirit is words, prayer, fasting, that is what my soul will carry, and then my body will definitely carry it out. I will find myself living holy. Are we together? Are we together? But if what is in my spirit is wordom and worldliness, all right, the spirit of lust and all that, what will now happen is that is what will now be in my soul. 
are we are we together for example now maybe you behold you know uh, maybe pornographic images before you know that thing you start thinking it and then before you know with time your body will have no option than to obey what the soul give you to do start your feet thank you jesus 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 can you just bless the lord just say father thank you for speaking to me thank you for opening my eyes thank you for opening my eyes thank you for feeding me with your word this afternoon i will live pure because i know there is so much you want to do with my life i will live my life to give you glory just pray this simple prayer because we don't have time just say lord from today help me to hate sin the way i will hate bitter leaf in the name of jesus and they say lord give me the grace give me the grace to walk the path of purity until the day you appear in the name of jesus my shaka tele brohonto lina farakatane skaya limbo toske tele mama makana kai thank you father for answers to prayer in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen so don't forget i told you we're going to meet us i briefly before before we round up okay so please quickly just bring out your offering we'll just give to the other then we are done all right let's share the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen can we say our creeds we are people of love character power and excellence through us the air shall be filled with the glory of the knowledge of the lord as the water covers the sea somebody say amen this will be your best week in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name and amen thank you all right so we just meet us briefly thank you